All right, it's time to show you the completed table set. Hey, I'm Janelle and this is to DIY for. Now, if you are new to my channel, uh, last week I actually shared with you how I refinished this really old, rough looking table that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. Today we are going to tackle the chairs to complete the whole set. So this was a lot of work. I mean, I did only pick it up for 60 bucks and really only put in, I don't know, like $50 to make this set. So it's a cheap, affordable way to get a really nice looking table set, but you gotta put the hours of work in. So check out that video if you haven't already seen it, but let's tackle these chairs. Really excited to show with you what I did with the seat cushions, cause I think it looks fabulous. All right, so um, if you're new to my channel though, please subscribe. I do new DIYs every single Wednesday and would love for you to come back and keep checking out what I'm doing here. Let's get into it. All right, here's another idea of what these chairs looked like. There's a reason, a good reason that they came with seat cushions. Look at how disgusting these are. It gets worse. So I actually didn't realize that this is what the chairs looked like when I originally bought them, but it did excite me when I found them. So I had to fill in a few little cracks with some wood filler and I decided to do that first, allowed it to dry, and then I tackled these seat cushions. So I'm just using an X-Acto knife. I'm gonna cut off all of this. And I know they look gross, but let me tell you, it got so much worse. This is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> like, what? <gasps> what? I couldn't believe it when I pulled that open. There were literally knives stuck in between some of them. Like, I found silverware in these seat cushions. Disgusting, I know probably one of the grossest DIYs I've ever done. Once I got all of that removed, I took out some of the staples and then I sanded this down because all of that crap was just like caked onto the wood. So I sanded those down and then I also sanded down every chair, which was a pretty lengthy process. I mean, it's not fun to sand around all of these little spindles. It was a rough sand and this is just so that the paint adheres a lot better to the wood. So again, I'm using this black paint sample that I used previously on the table with the table legs and I'm going to paint all of these chairs out. I found it best to kind of flip them upside down and paint them like that first. You get all underneath in the crevices and then I flipped it right side up. So I did do two coats of paint on all of these chairs and I found that that covered it pretty well. And then while those dried, I tackled the seat cushions. So I did paint out these little square pieces as well. I bought a huge roll of macrame cord because we're gonna use a lot of it. And that was the bulk of the expense of redoing this entire thing. And I stapled the macrame cord a couple of times to the backside of this square frame. And as you can see, I'm just wrapping it around and around and around and around. I'm sitting down on the couch because I'm literally watching a movie. This does take a little while to do. What you wanna do this is tight as you possibly can. And as you can see, I'm keeping everything really, really, really close together. So you could totally leave it like that. And yeah, that looks great, but I wanted to add some detail. So I took a ruler and I wove it every three strands. And that's just gonna help me weave in this piece of macrame cord. So this just makes it a whole lot easier. That's why I use the ruler. And once you go through once and you get one strand of macrame cord across, you can just go in with a few more. I went in with five more strands of macrame cord. I wove them the exact same way. And then what I did is I spaced them out and I went back in between each one of those and I wove a piece of macrame cord in the opposite direction, which gives you kind of like this weaving pattern. So just make sure you pull those really tight when you are all done. And then what we're going to do to attach them so that we don't have these white strands hanging on the outside, I didn't think that that was going to look good. I stuffed them down beside each other or down that little crack. And then I was able to secure them to the back without them showing. So I did this um, one by one. I did one side and then I did the opposite side. You don't wanna pull these too tight. It won't look good. And um, you just wanna secure them so that they're not obviously floating around in there. But I think it added such a really cool detail to these chairs. 
I absolutely love how this table set turned out. I think it has a bit of a mid-century modern feel to it, which is totally up my alley in terms of style. I love the contrast and I really love how these seats turned out because I had no idea I could even do this. I will say these seats were made to be woven. There's actually a little notch of the wood taken out of those square boxes that I was working on to allow for the extra room that the cording would take up but let me know what you thought of this diy and i do think now this whole space maybe doesn't go together the best i'm thinking i want to do a little more styling maybe change out the light fixture add a rug if you want to see how i style this space in a video definitely let me know and don't forget to subscribe i will be back next week with a new video cheers